How to make a pencil holder from a water bottle. Pencil holders are great for keeping your desk organized, but sometimes it is hard to find the perfect one. Luckily, it is easy to make one using just a water bottle. Once you have the bottle cut, all you need are some basic craft supplies, a little bit of time, and some imagination, to make the perfect pencil holder. Making a basic pencil holder. Take the label off of a plastic bottle. The bottle can be any size, shape, or color you want. If you can't find a plastic water bottle, use a plastic soda bottle instead. Rinse the bottle using soap and water. Use a dish scrubbing brush to scrub any leftover glue off. Once the bottle is clean, lightly pat it dry with a towel. If there is any glue left from the label, wipe it off using a cotton ball soaked in rubbing alcohol. Cut top part off the bottle with box cutter. Don't worry about being too exact, you will be trimming the bottle down shorter in the next step. It might be a good idea to cut it a little bit taller than you think you might need it. If you are a child, ask an adult to help you with this step. Use scissors to even out the top. Keep trimming until you get the height you want, and there are no jagged lines left. Try to make the bottle no shorter than half the height of a standard pen or pencil. If your water bottle has ribs, use the grooves as a guideline. Tear some tissue paper into small pieces. Aim to make them about 1 inch 2.54 centimeters. Don't cut the tissue paper, however. The jagged edges will give you a smoother finish. They will also make the papers easier to apply. Apply white school glue onto the bottle with a brush. You can use a flat paintbrush or a foam brush. Keep the bottle steady by sticking your hand inside of it. This way, your hands won't get messy. Stick the tissue papers on it. Overlap the papers slightly so that there are no gaps, and smooth them down using your fingers or a paintbrush to get rid of any bubbles. When you get to the top, fold the papers over the rim and onto the inside of the bottle. This will give you a neater finish. Let the glue dry, and add a second layer if desired. Once the bottle is dry, you can continue decorating it, or you can add a second layer of tissue paper. This second layer can be the same color, or it can be a different color to create a tie-dye effect. After you have applied your second layer and let it dry, you can seal your work by painting another layer of glue on top of it. Decorate the bottle further using paint, markers, or stickers. Once the bottle is completely dry, add some more color to it using some stickers, markers, or paint. You can even decorate it with glitter glue pens. If you want to use lighter colors, try paint pens. They will show up much better than regular markers, which are translucent. Finished.